From the fight being considered a done deal at the end of last year to a huge obstacle causing the whole thing to be put into question, here's why the Davis-Garcia bout has been delayed, starting off with an insight into this whole drama in the first place. It's been a real roller coaster ride for fight fans for the past few months. They've been kept on the edge of their seat for months waiting to find out if Davis and Garcia would finally agree to step into the ring together. False alarms and drama have plagued the process since November, and it's been a real clash of the titans. I mean, Davis' team of premier boxing champions, TGB Promotions, and Showtime have been butting heads with Garcia's crew from Golden Boy Promotions and Dazen. But now it's official. The 12-round non-title bout at 136 pounds will be a Showtime PPV event in Las Vegas, and the date has been shifted from April 15th to April 22nd to make sure everything lines up. Now, apparently, both sides wanted two months to promote the fight, but financial disputes between Golden Boy and Dazen put a spanner in the works. But things are really complicated because of some stuff outside of the ring. The thing is, Davis got sentenced for a hit-and-run. Gervonta got himself in a bit of a pickle when he was involved in a hit-and-run accident in November 2020. He faced a whopping 14 charges, but ended up pleading guilty to just four of them. Now, his sentencing hearing set for May 5th, and he's looking at some serious consequences, like at least nine whole months of jail time and hefty fines. It would also mean that if he gets sentenced, he won't be able to fight again this year. But here's the kicker. Davis has a fight scheduled against Ryan Garcia in April in Las Vegas, and everyone's wondering if it'll actually happen. The good news is, despite Davis's legal troubles, the fight is still on. The bad news is, we don't know exactly what his punishment will be yet. Apparently, Davis crashed his fancy Lamborghini SUV into a Toyota Solara and then fled the scene like a bat out of hell. Not cool, man. To make matters worse, a pregnant woman was injured in the crash along with several others. If Tank had been convicted on all 14 accounts, he could have been looking at up to 50 months in the slammer. It's a real mess for the fighter. As for Ryan, he's been laying low due to mental health issues and a hand injury, but he's still undefeated at 23-0 and is itching to get back in the ring. But Gervonta wasn't the only reason there was some doubts about his whole upcoming match with Garcia ever actually happening. There were also some disagreements over the rematch clause. Ryan's promoter, Oscar De La Hoya, said that the only issue left to resolve was who will control the rematch. De La Hoya argued that if Ryan wins, his side should be in charge of everything because, well, whoever wins should be the A-side. But the problems that Davis is promoted by premier boxing champions and fights on Showtime while Garcia is on Dazen. So if there is a rematch, the two sides are arguing over who will be the lead promoter and PPV producer or distributor. The fight's expected to be the biggest commercial event in all of boxing, with Davis and Garcia both being major stars in their own right. Now, people were starting to get a bit worried that this whole thing might fall apart because of this one issue. But don't worry, folks. It looks like they've managed to work things out and come to a reasonable agreement. So get ready for an epic showdown in the ring on the 22nd of April in none other than Las Vegas, Sin City. But how are Davis and Garcia feeling about the whole fight finally happening? Gervonta Davis recently hit up Twitter after the dates got finalized to let fans know he's totally hyped about his upcoming super fight with Ryan Garcia. They're going to duke it out on April 22nd in Vegas, and Davis is already calling for fans to get loud and support him, saying it's on. Garcia is just as stoked and even shared a poster for the fight with his name front and center. But even though he's listed first on the poster, on the official boxing record site, BoxRec, interestingly, the fight's actually listed the other way around. And let's not forget about the legend Oscar De La Hoya. He's just as amped up about this fight as I am. He's Garcia's promoter, and he's already throwing down some serious hype for the fight. I don't think it's bad blood. I think it's competition blood. Gotcha. I, I know that for a fact I just want to whoop his ass just mm -hmm. because he's part of my division and that's just somebody that everybody wants me to fight. No matter where I go, wherever I walk, the people always mention that. You know, mm -hmm. when are you gonna fight Tank? Like out of nowhere. I'm like a mile away. I'm like, what <laughs> can't even say hi? Yeah. Say How hi. am I? Like, can I get a picture? No, it's just like fight tank. So I'm like, you know, now I'm ready to give the people what they want. I feel like I'm at the the level I want to be uh -huh. when I fight, you know, Javante. <laughs>
Davis comes into the ring with a 28-0 record with 26 knockouts. His most recent win was a ninth-round TKO against Hector Luis Garcia back in January in his hometown of Washington, D.C. Meanwhile, Garcia's got a 23-0 record with 19 KOs, and he took down Fortuna with a knockout last July. This is gonna be one epic fight, y'all. Get ready to watch it on Showtime PPV and Days in PPV. Now that y'all know how hyped up the two fighters are about their upcoming showdown, if it's up to me, Brian, definitely next. Uh, we somewhat, we somewhat got, you know what I mean, everything and and um, going in the right direction. So uh, we just waiting for, you know what I mean, Ryan to um, accept on his his side and, and let's get the job done. It felt great, you know, always coming back home in the DMV area, it felt great, you know what I mean? Um, I've been fighting here since I was, you know what I mean, I was eight. So it felt great to be back home and in front of a beautiful crowd. What about their fans? Fans are definitely over the moon about the whole fight finally happening. One Twitter user funnily reacted with a meme with the caption, me dumping all my life savings in the Davis Garcia fight. Others have called the upcoming bout explosive and that it is the biggest fight ever since Mayweather versus McGregor. But not everyone's so quick to believe the new dates. Considering that it's been getting delayed again and again and again, I can't really say it's for no reason. One fan pointed out that there was still no venue decided yet nor any press conferences scheduled for it. Worse, the Davis Garcia fights still not on the PCB or Showtime website under upcoming fights, which makes the user wonder if it really is official in the first place. Yikes. Honestly, the fans' concerns pretty valid. Now, as I wrap up this video, let me talk about the one main question boxing fans will be debating until April 22nd. Who's going to win the fight? According to some boxing experts, Tank's slick moves could lead him to a victory on points, but let's be real here, it's unlikely to go to the judges. Ryan, on the other hand, has all the physical attributes to beat Tank. He's got the size, reach, speed, and power, but here's the thing, his defense is spotty at best. If Ryan's defense was better, he could dominate Tank with his physical advantages, but because of his tendency to ignore lead foot positioning and back out in straight lines with his chin up, he's in for a world of hurt against Tank. Sure, Ryan might win some rounds due to Tank's inactivity while setting him up, but those two key flaws in Ryan's defense will most likely lead to a knockout. Tank has a 100% chance of landing with those mistakes being so prevalent. Well, let's not count Ryan out completely. He's got crazy hand speed and hits hard, so Tank will likely be on his back foot for the first half of the fight. Ryan will be walking forward while maintaining distance for his check hook and counter punching game. It'll be a real battle of wits until one of them decides to take a real risk and then someone's getting KO'd. If I were Tank, I'd make sure to tire Ryan out before really turning up the pressure, and if Ryan wants to stand a chance, he needs to seriously step up his defense before the fight. Otherwise, he's looking at a knockout loss just like Tank's victory over Raleigh. And that's all for today on the Davis Garcia bout.